friends, I hope my life is such a mess at the moment. I feel a bit all over the place. I'm not going to lie, the apartment's all over the place. I'm not actually finished decorating it yet, so you kind of have to kind of just work with me for context. I've just moved out of uni, which is in Essex. I've been there for the last three years with like six of my best friends. I love London with all my heart. Like, it is my favourite place in the whole entire world, but also it is six hours away from home. And I did think as well, like, me living away on my own for the first ever time, I thought London could be a little bit scary. Scary. Anyways, so I was really, really stressed thinking like, do I live in London or not? Mm -hmm. And I just thought for what I would pay in London to live there, even though I really, really love it so much, I probably would end up 12,000 miles away from the centre. Obviously London is dangerous. Like I probably couldn't afford to live somewhere like really, like a really nice area, do you know what I mean? And living on my own, that terrified me. I just thought like, nah, like it is not, <laughs> it is not worth it. So I decided to move to Manchester and I thought like with the same kind of money, I could probably live somewhere that that's got a bit more security because like I'm scared of the dog like I'm even scared of the dog so knowing that there's someone here here and here and here and also like everywhere around me makes me feel quite safe and no one can like no one can come in and steal me whereas like in London someone probably could come steal me so everyone else is like why don't you just move home but I just really really don't like home like I wish that I had that relationship with my home you know where people just like love going home and they're like oh yeah like, I can't wait to live here when I'm older like I I do not want to live there like I'll go there I'll visit I'll go say hi everyone and then I'll run away and she like as fast as I can. I feel like an invisible cage is like put around me. So which is why I decided to move to Manchester because I thought as well. Two hours from home, it's two hours from London. It's right in the middle of the two places that I need to be. I've been here a week today. It's as done as it's gonna be for a while. Probably in the next three weeks I'll do the next room which I'm gonna work on which is that room in there. I'll, show, I, you know, I'll explain it. I don't know why I'm trying to get ahead of myself guys. I'm getting so I'll explain when I show you around. Basically before finding somewhere in Manchester I had a bit of a stress because I was like I could hate Manchester really like what if I just don't feel at home here like what if I just don't really like it that much what if I don't like make a lot of friends and it's just gonna be a nightmare do I really want to stay here for a full year so I thought what I would do is get a six month contract after my six months decide whether I want to stay here go to a different place go back to London go I don't know try and live a pool or somewhere like just I don't know where I want to be yet but I might end up staying here for like a lot longer I don't know if it feels like home, it will. I've also kind of just been locked in the room for the whole entire time because I'm quite antisocial. But it's fine. Right, okay, we'll start from the front door. Before I get into the little little tour of my apartment, I actually want to take this time to thank Decenio for sponsoring this video. I want to show you some of the prints that I got for the apartment. Ugh. They're just, they're just great. I'm going to show you them. Hold on. I'm guessing by now you know what Decenio is. Decenio is an online shop where they sell like loads of prints for your house. You can get different sizes. You can get frames. You can get like personalised bits. And it's honestly so handy if you just want something that's like really affordable. And yes, I'm going to show you what I've got. The ones that I chose was this one, which I absolutely adore this. You'll see later when I show you the living room. But I have went for like oranges in like wood. So I wanted to kind of incorporate that. And then I went for that one which I just thought was nice and simple and cute and this is my favorite I absolutely love that I just think it's so different but I also got all of the frames from Decenio as well which are so handy and I just think they look so nice side by side on the wall chef's kiss I got some other ones as well which I absolutely love in the other room I went for some smaller prints and I went for three up here so the first one I got was this unreal little blue one and then I got this one I love this one this is my favorite but obviously I got all of the frames as well but you can get huge ones for your walls you can get smaller ones you can get so many different sizes I also got two other ones too so they all came in this little cardboard box these are two of the ones that I got which I need to hang up still I got this one which is just this little line drawing in like a little gold colour. I also got this one which is another line drawn but they're all so affordable so if you just want some nice simple artwork for your home. But if you want to get any prints you can use the code Tia Leone. It's actually only valid though until the 30th of September at midnight so if you want something you probably have to do like ass up. So thank you so much to send your sponsor in the section of the video. I love you guys. These are great. On to the tour. Okay, so this is the door. You come in, the little door, and you walk in, and then this is what you see. The little floors. The floors are literally the cutest things in the world. Like, I'm actually obsessed. I'm gonna get something to go on here. I'm not sure yet, just to kind of make it a bit pretty when you first walk in. Okay, so you go in here, and this is the bathroom. Oh, look, right. Tell me I haven't got my life together because I found things to go in each of these boxes. And I think that's really good for me because I'm a bit. Is that my blusher? Honestly, guys, I'm a mess. I think that's quite good for me. 
that's a lot of things to find. Well, it's six things, but it's all quite cute. But I've got a little plant from Ikea, the little body candle. I've got my crystals in the corner. This plant was just from Primark. I mean, does it look real? No, but I think it's, uh, I don't really care, it's quite cute. This basket's from Pretty Little Thing. This was from my friend Lana as a moving in present. And that's from my friend Yazzie. And there's like a little shower. And then my green towel to kind of match the green, although it's completely different colour greens. I thought they were the same green, so then I tried to go for a third green. So that like it looked like I was just doing like 50 shades of green rather than like I was trying to make it work. But yeah, I love it. it just, it's so nice and bright and airy and fun and... And then when you cross the hallway, I've got my little storage cupboard. This is a mess. I'm so sorry. So I've got my washer dryer, whatever this is. I've got a photo of me and Aaron just so whenever I put my shoes on and get my bag on coat, I can see him and stuff. Okay, my room is probably one of the only things that I'm like fully happy with at the moment. And I just really like it. I don't know if you're going to like it though. I think you've probably seen it in the back of videos, but I just love it. Okay, so you walk in and this is my bedroom. Right, so. So on here I've got a big mirror that looks like that. If you watched my last vlog, I basically it was dark brown and I painted it like a lighter colour to match the bed in. I'm gonna close this door because this is really loud. Shh. Okay, I've got these built-in wardrobes. I'm not gonna show you what's inside the wardrobes because I've been here all week and have unpacked one single thing. That's really bad, isn't it? That I haven't even unpacked yet, but like I can't breathe. Oh, I know that's room's really bad, but the thought of having all my bags out everywhere and then like my room being really, really messy while there's stuff on the floor while I sort it gives me anxiety. And I under I know, I know that the thought of it all being shoved in the cupboards should also give me anxiety, but you would, that's not so much. It actually doesn't give me that much anxiety as what you'd think. So that's a, that just kind of explains how much of a, what's it called, one of those? Um, peacocks when you put your head in the sand. Is it a peacock or a camel? That's saying about putting your head in the sand. That's me. I do need to dedicate a day to doing it. Maybe Thursday. Okay, so anyway, it's the bed. The bed was originally grey. I did buy like a little headboard cover to put... Oh my god, that pillow's crooked. I'm so sorry. You can still see it here. I'm going to buy another one and then like kind of stitch it to attach it here so you can't see it at all. The bedding is like this lovely little like waffly. Basically, every single bedding that I've had for like the last 10 years it's been just white and you know what right i'm sick of it i'm sick of white bedding i've said it we're going into winter i'm probably gonna have to start wearing fake tan again and i just don't want them sheets white bedding looks lovely and pristine for about two weeks and then it looks awful again but yeah so that's the bedding i got that was from denelm and i got this pillow i think it was from b m you know but it's got these gold little flakes in so i'm going to cut them out because i don't really want the sparkly pillow like it's not really my vibe i wanted gold to be in this room so i got this gold lamp got my crystals another little candle from primark that's also from primark these bedside tables actually didn't come in the apartment basically they came with black bedside tables but a lot of the furniture that comes in the living room was black so i bought these ones from b m as well they're literally like 15 pound and i'm gonna basically paint these like spray these gold you then go over here i've got this lovely little tree i think it looks really cute both of these are from ikea my nice little view which is just makes me want to cry so much and then i got this lovely little weird mirror basically it was never the intention to have a mirror down there but when we were like kind of just like moving stuff into the room i put that mirror in that corner just to kind of like keep it out the way and then i found that like i quite liked having a mirror that i do my makeup so i thought i'm gonna have to buy a mirror so i got this on amazon i'm a fan then i got this little ladder draw set i've got me and leah and i've got one of faye's artwork i've got my uh, astrology books and um, main fear more self-care books my sunglasses collection more books my journal and then me aaron and caitlin my little slip slips i've also got my lovely little sunset lamp you can't really see because it's still daylight obviously i got this little little lamp so i can have the sun on the side make it all zen look how cute that is then go into this room and this is the ensuite i just love this bathroom so much i know some people don't like the dark bathroom but i just think it looks so Obviously, as you can tell, this is a bit less done. I still need some stuff for these few boxes, but it's not really a massive priority at the moment. So it's just crazy. Like, I don't belong here. Honestly, guys, if that's one thing I've learned from living here for a week, I do not belong here. I belong somewhere else. I just don't feel like this is real life. Anyways, 
next room Woo. so then you go through here and you go into this spare room so this is what's not done at all so you don't use your imagination okay this is basically the room it's like quite a nice size obviously it's a bit smaller than my room because mine's a chunky room but it's still like a really good size i think i want this room to be like really really bright and kind of like inspiring if that makes any kind of sense built-in wardrobes there and i've got this little round mirror and then on here for now this is probably going to change but i've got a lovely little plant that my best friends Leah and Jess got me for my moving in present and then my friend Fear is an artist and she did this design for me I'm going to buy a desk to put here this is going to be like my office kind of room so like spare room but also office I also really 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 want a cork board here to do like a manifestation board like my dreams and just goals and stuff i just want this room to be like full of like inspo and i want it to be a bit more quirky <laughs> i kind of want this room to look like tiktok's just being sick all over it so you come out of the door and then you go in and this is the living room space this is the view which is just crazy to me as you know i don't really sleep at all like i'm a bit nocturnal and i've started like at like four in the morning when i'm still not asleep just coming and just like sitting at the window and like just like watching the cars and stuff which is a little bit weird not to say that i'm a massive people watcher but when i've been like looking out the window i never see anyone look out their window but i feel like i'm constantly stood here looking out my window like is that weird because no one else seems to be doing it and i don't want to be known as the girl the creepy girls looking out the window all the time you've got to imagine this a bit different because it's not quite done yet but basically this is a sofa it came with the apartment got this lovely little orange throw and then i got this from pretty little thing and then this one is from ikea i got this little coppery colored lamp from argos i did want it to be more copper this looks a little bit rose gold in person and i don't know how i feel about it but you know what it is what it is it was literally 20 pounds so big fat gorgeous palm tree like when i was looking to buy a plant i was like why oh plants a billion pound it blows my mind but it was quite reasonably cheap so it is what it is here is a little table i got this lovely little plant again from ikea and then i've got this little egg mirror but the egg mirror is gonna go on here so let's imagine that there i've got this huge long mirror and it is literally the best mirror in the whole entire world look at the size of it for reference i'm five seven and it's still quite a lot bigger than me it's super thin as well which i love i need your opinion on how you feel about this my plan was for this to go sideways on this wall like this because i kind of thought that if i've got a big mirror lengthways here it'll kind of open up the full living room and obviously it'll kind of reflect off there and it'll make it look a bit bigger when i had everyone around this weekend they said they liked it here but i'm not too sure if i do i think it will be better here but obviously i can't do that myself until my dad comes let us know what you think down below because i'm not too sure also so this rug i've had a few questions about this rug as well this rug was from aldi aldi literally like 15 pound from aldi it was a steal go run to your aldi right now so i also have this book from it's louis vuitton i got it on amazon and if you follow me on instagram you saw that i spilt a full mug of tea all over the book but i just washed it literally in the sink and it's back to brand spanking new got it on this little table this table's also from b and it was i think it was like 12 pound and then i've got this table here which came with the apartment got these bamboo placemats that were from primark i just thought it goes with the wood floor it kind of brightens it up a bit i didn't want so much black in there but also, I've got to show you another thing. God, this is such a mess. I got this mirror from, which is so overpriced. Don't, no one buy it. It's from Oliver Bolden or Olivia Bolden or something. It's just like a little egg mirror. And it's got the rose gold on the outside. It said it was a large one, but it's literally so small. I'm really bad at returning things. So I'm just going to like make it work rather than sending it back. Basically, I thought what I could do is I could put it on here. And it'll tie in with the rose gold lamp. Last but, I'm out of breath. Last but not least is the kitchen. So the kitchen is in the living space but it's this little kitchen here and i just absolutely love it could have got navy or you could go for like the brownie orange and i went for the brownie orange because i thought it would look nicer with like my oranges and stuff microwave and grill in my oven and then all my little stuff i mean these are definitely really moldy like have you ever seen avocado that does that oh my god that's actually quite disgusting to put it in the bin yes. over here i've got a little cute chopping board just got this kettle in microwave and it was literally 30 pound for both on mulcher like how much of a, of a of a steal is that what's a bit of a nightmare is that 
I've got loads of storage, but like nothing to store. Like, I've literally got no food. I want to show you how hilarious my fridge is. So let's see what I've got. I've got a nice little jug of dilute and some lettuce. I've got some plums. On here, I've got some eggs, half a tin of tuna. Mmm, delicious. Mushrooms, a mouldy pine. I was gonna say. <laughs> A moldy pineapple. I've got two cartons of mushroom soup, which is actually on sale in co-op. I've got this, which I literally made a week ago, and I just put it in a glass and then put it in the fridge, and it's right, it's stored next to an uh, unopened copperberg and some green, <laughs> some green pesto. At the top, I've got a big crate of copperberg and some lime and coriander hummus. Guys, I've got a wine cooler wine cooler this means i'm gonna have to start drinking wine every night i'm joking i've got my coconut bowls in here and like my big glass bowls got all of my lovely glasses look at that organization that's what i love about being on my own and not in a uni house look how cute these are they're like oh our mugs and then our little cool funky them ones which are a bit obviously a bit odd but i've got some tuna <laughs> in beans and gluten-free bread which is class and here i've got all of my cutlery so i went for like a charcoal -y gray cutlery rather than just silver because i just thought it'd be a pretty, bit prettier not to be a weirdo who gets excited over knives but look at them yeah that's basically the kitchen but i just absolutely love it so happy but yeah guys that's literally my full apartment i absolutely love it i hope you like it as well i think i'm gonna like it here but also don't wanna, don't wanna drink it let's touch the wall Touch wood, do you know what I mean? I said touch wood and then touch the wall, but the wall's not wood. And I'm sat literally on wood, like I could have just went like, touch wood, do you know what I mean? Like I'm on wood. Do you think it's real wood? I hope it's real wood, because it feels like real wood. But I've had more splinters and I thought you had to get splinters from wood, unless it's actually like smooth. I just want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you as well. Like obviously I only really started doing this this year and it's only been my job really since March. So the fact that I've obviously been able to move out and it just makes me really, really happy because these are all so lovely and I just want to thank you a lot. But yes, love you all and I'll see you soon.